I melted my lard and my coconut oil and now I'm straining in the olive oil that I had infusing into calendula or the calendula infusing into the olive oil and I'm just straining that and my, my um, bowl of oils is in, on top of a scale right now so it's all being measured and now I'm just measuring in the pine tar that I'm using at 10% and I have the recipe in the description box for you guys so um, this is a tried and true recipe I really love it um, and I didn't put this video in fast forward because I wanted to see I wanted you guys to see in real time like how easy this is and I, you just to get the feel for how much you need to mix it so this is just the oils in the pine tar I'm just blending it or mixing it until it's like fully mixed you can add your goat's milk if you're doing um, the goat's milk and oil method or the powdered goat's milk whatever you would like to use and now I'm adding in my lye water um, they're both pretty cooled off I mean they're about 90 degrees so they're still warm to the touch and now I'm just going to mix I'm not using my immersion blender at all you don't need to use that and if you do you might it might thicken up really really fast so I'm just using like a whisk. You could use a, a stainless steel spoon or a silicone spatula or whatever you have. But I find the whisk works well to blend it a little bit better. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix until it starts to thicken up to like a thicker pudding consistency. I also wanted to note that I do not add essential oils to my pine tar soap. Um, a lot of people will add tea tree or uh, like a strong medicinal type smelling essential oil, but I figure because it's the people with the sensitive skin that are using the pine tar that you might not want, they might not want an essential oil, they might want it unscented. Um, I personally do not like tea tree, I think I'm actually allergic to it, and actually I would rather smell like pine tar than tea tree. So. But if you like tea tree, go ahead and use that. But that's just basically what I have seen online is that's the go-to essential oil that people like to use. So I've been mixing this for about two minutes total and you've seen every step I did not cut anything out or fast forward anything and you can tell or you can see that it's really starting to have a really nice uh, texture and the, like the soap when it falls into it it kind of stays on top so it's at a nice uh, trace it's turning into soap pretty fast. Mm -hmm. 